What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. So I know the last video was me talking about the woes of this tractor. It still operates right now. Um, I'm getting it into the shop in a couple of days. It's just not operating the way it's supposed to. So that being said, I'm still able to move dirt with the bucket, with the box blade. And that's what I've been doing, trying to get this driveway area graded out and level enough to where we can get gravel in here so it's not a mud pit because it's driving everybody insane. So I wanted to just take this opportunity to show you the Wicked Tooth Bar from Everything Attachments. Um, I mentioned this in the front end loader video that I put out, I don't know how long ago. I didn't have it then and I was still impressed with the bucket's ability to move dirt, especially this clay, this red clay that we have here in North Carolina. So I purchased the tooth bar. This isn't sponsored or anything. It's just, it's an awesome product. So I want to share that information with y'all. Uh, I think price point was around $530. It took just over six weeks to come in. They told me four to six and I think it was like six weeks in a couple of days. So um, you give them the inner dimensions of your bucket. That's all they need. It bolts on the side, you drill a couple of holes. I used a 3 8 inch drill bit and then a stepper bit that went up to 7 eighths of an inch and uh, it ripped right through the sides of the bucket, no problem. Secure the bolts and you're ready to rock and roll. Um, it works, it's awesome. So I'm just gonna throw the drone up into the air and I'm cutting into like this embankment berm thing. Hopefully it's not too bright. But on the side of our driveway area here, I initially just cut a little trench for the water to run in, but I'm gonna smooth this out a little bit and just make sure that this side is lower than this side and the water will run out the way that I want it to. So uh, I'm gonna, like I said, get the drone up, get some footage of this and uh, show y'all it in action. So if you're thinking about getting a tooth bar, maybe this will uh, help your research because that's what I did. It was between this one, I think Piranha was the other one that I was looking at. And this one's made right here in North Carolina. So that kind of uh, finalized that decision for me. And one thing before I throw the drone up, let me uh, try to get you a closer look at what I'm working with and then the tooth bar itself. So this hard clay, and it's like rock. Um, even with a pickaxe, it's a pain in the butt to move. So this bucket's doing a pretty dang good job and I know for sure I wouldn't be able to dig into it at all without the tooth bar. But let me flip this camera around get you a shot here so it's got all these little teeth in there that help rip into the ground and it's wicked it's wicked it's wicked awesome kid and I can uh, appreciate that since I grew up in Massachusetts so big Sox fan Pats fan so it's wicked sweet kid uh, but that's it drone coming at you <laughs> Take a sip 
I'ma pack my grip One more trip And I'ma move on I'ma move on So I apologize for the lack of drone footage. I didn't have enough battery life. That is kind of the story of my videography career here. That's why I'm not very good at it. Um, but using the Wicked Tooth Bar from Everything Attachments and the Box Blade, I'm pretty sure this is ready for gravel. Um, let me flip you around. So the drone, you saw me just taking a little bit more material out of this to kind of level this off. I had that, uh, like pretty steep trench in here decided to get rid of that and then if you follow me on Instagram you've seen that this past weekend I've been doing a bunch of work at my parents house with the tractor they're getting ready to do some landscaping and hardscaping so we needed to get the site prepped for that so we are super busy doing that and my dad had rented a witch ditch to uh, dig some trenches for pipes so luckily he was able to bring that over here and what we did we put a drain in right here this is kind of a low spot coming from this area so we've got a drain here i just have some logs temporarily keeping some of the clay at bay uh, but we're going to get gravel in here so one line is running from there down this line here where I initially had that steep trench it connects to another drain here which this is kind of the low section the low corner um, and we decided to do it this way with the drain because near the front steps it's pretty high there so we would have had to take out a ton of material and uh, I just didn't want to do that so from this drain we cut a trench this way all the way down so hopefully most of the water that pools up will get caught by those drains and it comes out right here and it'll just flow out that way but as you can see I've been busy with the bucket and the box blade getting this thing prepped so uh, it's gonna be time to order up some gravel tomorrow which is Monday, and I have a long day ahead of me because the tractor is finally going to the shop. Hopefully that will be squared away and fixed and we won't have any more problems because I don't want to talk bad about this tractor because when it's working, I love it. So that's it. There'll be plenty more footage coming um, of the tooth bar, all the implements. Sorry, it's, it's, it's cold out here. It was 70 degrees yesterday. It's, I think it's like 38 right now. It's cold. Um, that's it. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. We'll keep the videos coming. We'll see you on the next one.